Hey guys, welcome back to another new video. So in this video, I'm going to do something interesting actually. So I have reviewed my Nokia C3 a few days back and it was in original state with original firmware. And this time I'm going to show you something interesting. Like I'm, I have flushed custom firmware on this and it was really tough to find some custom firmware for this kind of phone. Actually, when I've been using this phone on 2011 or 12, I have found the custom firmware, but I have not slashed the custom firmware because I did not have like PC also I did not have much knowledge about this kind of thing and I have tried to flush custom firmware on my Nokia 6310 classic and I bricked that phone so I never tried custom firmware on my phones but now as I have a lot of phones so I don't really care that much so I have flushed custom firmware on my Nokia C3 and I have found like four or five custom firmware and I have tried two of them here and today I'm going to review one of them and I will put the link of the flush file in the description below. You can download it from there so that you can, if you have a spire phone like this, so you can flush it. It is really interesting that not only this one actually, a lot of Nokia phones you will find that they have released custom firmware like. But nowadays the custom firmware links are not valid. If you, you will find the custom firmware but when you're going to download those firmware, you will see that the uh, firmware link is like invalid, mostly invalid. So I have found a lot of custom firmware for this phone, Nokia C3, but only four of them I was able to download. And I have flushed one of this custom firmware. Uh, the ROM I have flushed here is called Living 6. And it's quite interesting actually. So as I said, there are a lot of custom firmware available for this kind of phones. Even Nokia 3310, that is that brick phones also can be flushed with custom modified firmware. So there are those kind of things also available. So basically I'm not going to show you how you can flush the custom firmware on these devices. If you want, like how you can flush custom firmware, I will make a video. You can leave a comment in the description box. I will do that too. But now I'm just going to review the ROM. What you are going to get with this ROM. And if you have a spare phone like Nokia C3, you can flush this custom firmware. So basically you are not getting much like features rather than, uh, than your original ROM, but uh, the UI is different. So as you can see, we have big clock here in the home screen and also it the home screen looks a bit busy actually. So I don't really like that and you are getting like 3.50 logo also. Although this phone is uh, only works with 2G network, but the, the logo is there. And if you open, here is the interesting part. So as you can see, the icons are completely different and these are actually live icons like Windows Metro look. So and they included some more things here. So you are getting WhatsApp, although you cannot access WhatsApp now because this ROM actually built on maybe 2013 or 14. Um, I don't really know, but at that time the WhatsApp were working and the Twitter also, uh, the music player, uh, online music streaming application here, Shazam, that one is also not working. This th these things are not working right now because these all are, um, web-based or internet-based application which are no longer working on any of the Nokia devices even in Symbian devices also they don't work so as you can see here the, the interface is live icons like you find in Nokia Lumia and other things that's why I'm saying these things are actually quite interesting flashing firmware and other things actually quite interesting thing and even the uh, photos as you can see it's moving and, and doing these things so this is the interface of home screen and if you change the theme it will not change maybe uh, the icon will change but i do really like these things and if you go to setting the setting is change the icons are changed the nokia uh, icons are different maybe on nokia c3 i don't really remember but these icons are maybe changed and also looks good actually not that bad and others custom firmwares these things different so in browser you will not get opera mini built in in the browser like we used to get with nokia c3 but the browser is uh, the opera mini browser is there and it is in different language maybe you can download opera mini 8 and other things and there is a game section here if you come to the game section it comes with a lot of games actually and it looks really good actually these games actually working perfectly fine with this device and i have make a backup of this uh, games in my SD card so that I can play in if I change the firmware so that I can play in other 
from where to so as you can see we are getting angry words angry words asphalt and bouncy tails doodle jump edge edge 2 ninja fruit sonic advance and your sonic UNL Tetris uh, UMK3 this game is actually I really like this game and I have finished this game maybe in my Nokia 6310 classic as I said I break that device and UNO so these are the games it comes with and these are really good games and in my previous videos I have put the uh, link of a games that you can install in this device and there are a lot of games you can play but this game is actually really good as you can see the icons also really good and it looks very nice and if you if you want to play games you can all, you can install this from through actually and if you go to music player it's the music player is similar with uh, I have seen that the music player is different when I, I was installing this one but there is nothing new in this music player is similar to the original one and mm -hmm. nothing new here so that now you if you go to application section extra if I go to extra and uh, game section is there and if I go to collection so in the collection there are some apps and things here like CNN so if you go to CNN maybe it will not work it goes internet based Facebook is there does that work force square doesn't work localize maps does work actually google maps does work here so and opera mini does work but it's in different language so you can use opera mini to download another opera mini like opera mini it and other things this rom actually built maybe in indonesia or philippine i don't know maybe in indonesia so quip scan and shajam is easy skype and these things actually does not work but these things comes with the rom and as 40 editors twitter and use wizard does work and also videos actually it's a youtube link where you can watch youtube videos but it also doesn't work now and and whatsapp whatsapp also doesn't work so these are the few things with this rom there is nothing actually nothing to talk about this kind of thing it's like a little bit customization with putting the good things with the rom and this this rom is not devoted they should devote this rom and it's come with does come with some of the good wallpapers too actually let me show you the wallpapers Maybe those are in application. If I go to the gallery, images, theme, graphics, home graphics, home landscapes. Yeah, so these are the wallpapers you will get with this device. And these are the wallpapers which are syncing here actually. So as you can see here, these uh, wallpapers are changing. Those wallpapers are from there. Maybe if you put your one picture there, it will uh, update those pictures too. I don't really know, I'm tried. And this is about uh what it called living six custom from over this from I'm really happy to uh show you this thing actually. Um I've been looking for this custom from a very long time, but I couldn't able to find. But now I have found it and I have installed it and I will put the link in the description so that you can flash it too if you have spare phone like this. Although uh also I have like no K6 E72, E71 and all those firmware also flashed with custom firmware and maybe in future I will review those two and I will I will show you how we can flash so flashing uh, methods are easily uh, actually same for all across the devices only for uh, other devices like DCT4 or the devices like Nokia 3310 and other things those devices can be flashed with the software I'm using right now and like other devices E72, E70 one e5 e6 all those devices can be flushed with the uh tool i have been using now and i will if you really need and uh, you can comment in the comment below i will make uh, another video separate video for that like flushing tutorial and this thing's actually risky you may damage your device and you will not be able to revive your device using the software i'm i've been using maybe you have to use professional tools like flushing box to revive your device and you have to take it to the technician so if you have a spare, de uh, spare device you can try these ROMs if you have enough knowledge about this kind of thing so that's it about the custom firmware for Nokia C3 thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time